Hey, what's up, guys? Andrew Extremist here from AndrewExtremist.com right now with Galaxy S3, and I'm gonna use AT&T version to demonstrate this tutorial, and I'm gonna show you how to unroot your very own Galaxy S3. Now, this will work on any Galaxy S3. I will have all the files that you need in the link description. So, first of all, you're going to press the power button, volume down, and the home button to get into download mode. That's the first step and press volume up when you get to the screen. And right here you will see that it says yes and one count to your binary custom binary download. So that means you got triggered your binary and that's why it shows that. But you can get rid of that via triangle away application by Chainfire and I have a video on that so make sure you go ahead and click on the Android right here which will take you the video on how to reset your binary counter. After that, just plug in your phone via micro USB cable to your computer and you're going to need all these files to get to stocks. Make sure you have any kind of zip manager. I have 7-zip and unzip this file. This is going to be the file you will download. And once you unzip it, this is what you're going to get. Two files, it's about 1.5 gigahertz. And the Odin file, just Click, right click and extract and once this is done extracting you should get those three files now people might argue there is latest only why do I not use that because I've been using this 1.85 since I got my Android and I'm used to it so I really don't care about using the latest one they all do the same job so double click this and you'll be right there and again double click this and you're gonna press yes which will open up your Odin now some people might not see this that is because you do not have your drivers for your phone installed which is your Samsung keys which will be again on the website that I have so make sure you go ahead and download that and uh, you're gonna unselect this right here Make sure auto reboot is selected, but unselect the F reset time and select PDA. And that should pop up. And you're going to navigate to the files that you downloaded. Actually, it's desktop. And go to stock ROM and select this. It has a weird long name, it tells you what version of the Android you. Are going to flash so this is for AT&T that's why I selected that if you got different phone like if you got Verizon make sure you select the Verizon files and just press start that's it it will start all the process and you can monitor them right there that's your message box let me zoom in so you can see it better and the, here is your phone it's still in download mode. There's nothing going to be going on on the phone while it's in download mode. So right there is the process that's going on and up there is the process bar. So you can monitor both of them. And this will take about a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your computer and uh, how fast your phone will take all these files in so again hey guys so as you can see it's about to be done in the message box it will say rqt closed and once you get that message up there saying it passed that means you are all good and your phone will be unrooted so let's go ahead and see right there is the phone's process going on and you will see that Android with surgery stomach, that's what I like to call it. And now it, your phone will be resetted and to, to your factory software. You will see typical AT&T or whatever career you got, their boot animation, boot sound and everything. And uh, most of you probably read my notice upfront to backup. I always 
forget. I don't know, for some reason, I might have to write it down on my wall to remember this, but I forgot to tell you that you might want to back up if your phone does not reboot or boot up. We might have to factory reset, and for that, everything will be erased because that will be done via Samsung's 3E recovery, which is your stock recovery. So let's see if it boots up or not. This will take time. The best way to know if it's going to boot up or not is when your soft light is light lit up. That's when you know the phone will boot up without any problem. So now you can disconnect your phone. Place it somewhere so it's easier for you. Or at least for me. And let me go ahead and show you my phone right there. So we're waiting for it to boot up and uh, I'm guessing it will not boot up for some reason my instinct says that but you know I could be wrong so we'll see how long it takes for my phone to boot up between if you're wondering that's my Galaxy Note 2 So I think it's taking longer, so I'm going to take about, give it about like 3-4 minutes and if it doesn't boot up, then I will show you how to factory reset in another video. So this is how you unroot your phone guys and uh, make sure to subscribe for more content like this, more videos, tutorials on how to root your phones like Galaxy S3, Note 2, Galaxy Nexus or Nexus 4, that's what I support as of now. I will do a lot of ROM reviews kernels how to get most of your phone battery life and all that so feel free to subscribe for more videos like this tutorials and like this video if it helped you out thank you for watching hey what's up guys Android extremist here from androidextremist.com right now i'm going to show you how to factory reset your at t galaxy s3 or any galaxy s3 i'm going to just use the at t version to demonstrate this tutorial let's go ahead and pop the back cover pull the battery out and press volume up power and the home button you will get vibration and you will see that screen up there it will say reboot recovery and after that you will let go the buttons and your phone will boot into this weird recovery that you might not have seen it before so this is what we call the samsung's 3e recovery and these are the options you will get after booting into this recovery. Now what we're going to do is use our volume rocker to scroll up and down. And go to wipe data factory reset. Go down. It does not, the volume up does not work, only volume down works. And these are the message you will see when you're wiping data, formatting data. And it will reset, factory reset your phone and wiped everything from your phone. So make sure you back up before doing this. Again, just do this twice because I want to make sure my everything that I wanted to erase will be done and gone afterwards because recovery might not erase everything on first try. I know some people might argue with that, but you know, that's what I've been learned by using Android for a long time and just press back button it doesn't work really and just press reboot system and your phone will be factory set I'm just gonna put my case back or back cover back on let's go ahead and place the phone onto the dock and 
There you go. Your phone will boot up regularly after you factory reset with everything on factory setting. And once those lit, lit up, those lights, that so you know your phone will boot up rather than going into boot loop or anything. So again, you just factory reset everything. That's why it will take time for your phone to be settled down. So make sure you give it Give it like at least four or five minutes before it turns on and you start using it. And there you go, the first vibrate of the phone has been occurred. That's like what I call a good news. And there you go, the phone has been factory reset. As always, guys, if you want to see more contents like this, please subscribe. If you think this was helpful, thumbs up is always appreciated. And uh, Leave a comment below if you got any question. Check out my website andrewextremist.com. And I will see you later. Thank you for watching and feel free to subscribe.